Now, if you've updated to WordPress 5.5 recently, you probably noticed when you looked in the plugin section or the theme section, there's a new feature called auto updates. In theory, that's a good thing. But the reality of it is, if you don't have control over when things update, you could potentially have problems with your site. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you a very simple way of globally disabling this feature, and then you can go back to the way that you're used to working, which is managing the updates as and when you're ready. So if you're interested in finding out how to do that, join me, I'm gonna take you through the entire process right now. So if you've updated to WordPress 5.5 recently, you'll notice you now have automatic updates that are associated with any of the plugins that you have. And that's a cool thing. However, you may want to globally disable this for a multitude of different reasons. There are a couple of ways in which you could achieve this, and today I'm going to show you probably the easiest way without using a plugin. It does require you to start making some edits to a couple of core files, but it is really, really simple. And as long as you have cPanel or SiteGround so you can get access to your files through your file manager, it is incredibly simple to do. All the relevant code will be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste this. But today I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to globally disable these automatic updates to your theme and your plugins. Now for today's example, I'm going to be using the file manager inside SiteGround, but you can do pretty much exactly the same from cPanel. And if you don't have access to that, you could still use an FTP client. As long as you can gain access to the root of your WordPress install, you can make these changes. So I'm already inside the root area of this particular website. What I need to do is find my config file. So we're going to scroll through until we find wp-config.php. Once we found that, we're just going to simply edit that by right click and choose edit. And that will open up the file and we've got all the relevant information inside there. Now, all we need to do is simply add one simple line of code to the end of this wp-config file. Now it is worth noting before we make any changes or add anything inside the config file, we need to just ensure this hasn't automatically been added in by your hosting company. Now some hosting companies may enable or disable this feature, but it's worthwhile just taking a couple of moments to check through to make sure it's not already inserted. In this example, it's not, so we're going to simply scroll down to the bottom, make a little bit of space underneath with a couple of return keys, and we're going to paste in the little piece of code. So what you're looking for, if you want to double check this, is exactly what you can see on screen now. You're looking for the WP underscore auto underscore update underscore core. If you find that already inserted into this WP config file, then you can just change it from true to false if it's already inserted in there. However, like I say, you don't want to end up with a duplicate. So that's the first thing we need to do. So now we can just save this file. Next thing we need to do is go in and find the folder that contains the theme that we're using. Now, obviously, you may be using a different theme to me. You may be using a child theme, which is definitely recommended. You just need to find the active themes folder. Now, to do that, we're simply going to come into the WP content folder as part of your root. And inside there, you'll find another folder called themes. If we expand that, you can see all of the different themes that are currently installed as part of this WordPress. Now, like I say, you need just to make sure that you've got the active theme selected. If for any reason you're unsure, you can just hop back over into the appearance tab of WordPress, open up the themes folder, and you'll see this is the currently active theme, the first item in that list. So this example, it's the hello theme. So we'll go back into our file manager, we'll open up the hello theme folder, and inside there, we're going to look for the functions.php file. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to edit that. So we'll open that up to edit it. And you can see there's the file with all the information inside there. And we're going to do the same thing again. Again, it's still worth double checking to make sure these two lines of code that we're going to insert are not already placed in there somewhere. So do a little find and replace just to make sure they're not there. But we're going to make some space right at the bottom again. And we're going to just grab the two pieces of content that we need, the two lines of code, and paste those inside there. So what this is doing is it's adding a couple of filters into your functions PHP file to control the auto update for plugins and also auto update for the theme. And you can see both of those have been set to return false. You don't need to understand this. You just need to make sure it's inserted into the functions PHP file for your active theme. Now, it's also worth bearing in mind that if you change the theme in the future, you will have to come back in and add this to that specific function.php file to make sure that these auto updates are managed correctly. So just bear that in mind if you make a change and you see the auto updates come back. That's probably the reason why. So all we need to do now is save this one more time. 
head back over to the plugins folder as part of WordPress and you can see now automatic updates for all of these plugins has now been set to disabled. And that's all there is to it. And that's the easiest way of doing it if you don't want to install another plugin just to handle this very simple change. However, if you prefer to use a plugin to manage this and also add in some extra features like automatic backups if you're using something like Updraft Plus, then maybe take a look at Easy Updates Manager, which should handle all that for you. But for me, the simplest way is to just insert those couple of lines of code and make sure that it's all handled in the background without the need for another plugin that needs to be managed and updated just to make sure there are no security issues. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you in this quick video is exactly how to deal with globally disabling all these automatic updates that have been introduced with WordPress 5.5. Now, as always, all the applicable links, including the code, is in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added. And my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.